<clears throat> Hi folks, this is a relatively short video segment about a few tips and tricks on creating simulations. Basically cartoons, no physics behind them, and uh, hopefully you will uh, uh, find it useful. Alright, so let me uh, start with the product file and insert a bunch of parts in it. So in insert uh, existing components uh, in there. And my folder, uh, let me get my folder here, it's called, uh, let's see, there. Uh, so these are the parts, uh, arm, extender, ground, propeller, and vehicle. Okay, uh, let me separate these things. Uh, there are five parts, as you can see. So uh, let's see now. Uh, uh, let me move these things in the X direction. So this is the extender, this is the propeller, there is the ground, there is, let's call it the vehicle, vehicle, and this is the arm. All right, what I'm gonna do is to create an assembly uh, where uh, this propeller goes on top of the extender. The extender goes into that rectangular cavity and this vehicle is going to be translating along that arm, and the arm is rotating. Let's. Uh, and this is the ground. So why don't we fix the ground first? This is fixed. Now coincidence axis of the ground and the axis of this uh, uh, arm, and co between the top face of this uh, ground and the bottom face of that. And uh, let me update. There we are. Now the vehicle goes on top of this. So between this face and that face. And coincident this edge and that edge. Now keep in mind what happens here is that the arm is going to have a revolution joint with the ground. And this uh, vehicle is going to have a prismatic joint with respect to the, uh, to the arm. All right. Let's install the propeller. So coincidence between the axis of this uh, circular cavity. All right, there we are. And the axis of this uh, propeller. Okay, and coincidence between the top face of this extender and the bottom face, bottom face of the propeller. Okay, uh, let's update. This is going to be a revolute joint, and let's insert this thing in that uh, cavity. So coincidence between, let's see now, this edge and the inside edge, and coincidence between, let's say, this face and that face. Okay, update. So there we are. This is our assembly. So we, have, we will have a revolute here, a revolute there, a prismatic there, and a prismatic there. Okay, so let's go ahead to the digital mockup, the MU kinematics, get the magic wand out, new mechanism, or create, and okay. So definitely we're gonna have four joints, two prismatic and two rebel. There we are. Okay, now the degree of freedom is four needless to say because each one of these will have a single degree of freedom. So let's make these things, uh, let's make this guy angle driven, zero to 360. Uh, let's make this thing, uh, that is the vehicle on that arm, length driven. I start with zero, and I'll go to maybe 10 inches. Uh, this is the revolute for the propeller over here, angle driven, zero to 360. And the prismatic, which is the extender inside of that cavity, zero to, let's say, uh, I don't know, maybe uh, four or five inches, five inches. Okay. 
the degree of freedom is zero because we already uh, uh, created our commands, four of them, and therefore degree of freedom is zero, and mechanism can be simulated. So let's think about it for a second. Uh, let me also change the color of these things. Let's see now. Uh, assembly design. Okay, so uh, okay, so view the graphics toolbar. So this guy, I would like to make it uh, yellow. This fellow, I like to make it uh, orange. Uh, extender, I'll make it green. And the propeller, I'll make it uh, blue. Okay, it just looks nicer. That's all. Okay, so let's go back to uh, let's go back to digital markup. Uh, let's try to these, do these things manually. This we have four we have four commands and therefore we have four sliding bars. So this one makes the arm turn. This one makes the vehicle move along that uh, uh, along that arm. This one is the propeller on the top, and this is the extender. Extender going up and down. Okay, there, going up and down. Okay, so uh, now let's go ahead and create a simulation. There's a simulation mechanism number one. Say okay. Basically, here we can make a cartoon. For example. Suppose I drag, suppose I drag the first slider, so this arm will turn. And let's say that I move the vehicle, the vehicle will move. And these two, I can insert it as a single step. Now, when this, after I do this, then I will make the propeller move by 360. And I make the R move, for example, up by some amount. I don't know, maybe like that, here. And then insert. So this is going to be a second step. In the first step, the vehicle is going to move and the arm is going to turn. And then it stops there and the propeller here is going to turn and the extender is going to go up. Okay, let's do the third step. The third step, we're going to take this arm, make it go all the way to the end, 360 degrees. The vehicle step stop, stops there at that location. Insert. Now, suppose I want to make the vehicle go back. There we are. Insert. That's step number four. And let's say at that stage I decide that I want the propeller to turn. and the arm to go down. So we have five steps. And let's see what we can do with it. We can play it automatically. So we change this thing to anything but, but one, rewind it, and let's play it once. So the arm will turn and the vehicle will move. And then it stops in that location. The propeller will turn and the extender will go up. And then the, the arm turns to uh, original location, the vehicle goes back, the propeller moves, and the extender goes down. Okay? Of course, you can play this thing continuously. It just keeps repeating itself. Basically, we are creating a motion, a fake motion, based on the commands that we gave it with the sliding bar. There's no physics here. It's just fake motion. All right, so let's rewind this. Say OK. We have created the simulation. You can now compile the simulation because you can make a video clip out of that or create a replay. Where is the compile thing? In the same place that you found the simulation, you open it up. This one says compile. Let me take this out. It says compile. 
Now you can create a replay or you can create a video clip. Let's first create a, a replay. So let me change to anything but one and then just play it. So this entire motion is going to be recorded as a replay and it's going to be added to the tree. In order for you to create a video video uh, video file, you must uh, create a replay. Well, you must compile, right? You must compile, and we did it. Here is the the net effect. You can play this thing as you wish. You don't have to, you know, draw the sliding bar and things like that. You can make it faster. You want play faster. There we are. Or we can make it slower. Rewind. Now uh, we can also create a video video clip. So uh, compile simulation. This time, do not generate a video. Uh, we uh, do not generate a, a replay, just create an animation file. Where do we want to put it? We're going to put it on the desktop. I say my uh, video clip. Okay, it's going to be in the desktop. So uh, just make sure you choose this thing for anything but one. It'll take some time Just creating it. This video clip can be played with a video player such as VLC or uh, uh, the standard video uh, Windows video video player, and then it can be inserted in document. It can be shared. Uh, can be shared with uh, non Katia users. I should have made it a little bit faster. Uh, it's taking longer than uh, than I want because probably the number of steps uh, use the small one. Obviously, the size of this uh, video video file is going to be depending on uh, you know time step that you choose. I think. Let's give it some time because I want to go on my. Uh, desktop and make sure I actually did it. Once again, the, the value of this uh, is uh, this uh, obviously video clip is to be able to share it with people who don't have Katia. I mean, if, you have, if they have Katia, you can send them the Katia file and they can play, open it up and play the replay. But uh, by the way, uh, in that simulation, you can also modify the step. Notice that I did five of them. You can delete it, you can replace it. Probably you can change this. Yeah, so I didn't do that, but you can play with those buttons which says uh, delete, modify. Almost done. No physics. Okay. Almost done. Or it's done. Okay, so let's go ahead and see whether it is there. Uh, right there. My video. Let's look at the size of it, by the way.